Veteran Ralph Lapp explains how quickly Manhattan Project scientists had to scale up in their efforts to design and build the first nuclear reactors. We worked at the University of Chicago, and the mathematics building was where the MET lab was centered. And my laboratory was right next, to, on the first floor, right next to where the elevator came down, and the elevator connected our fo first floor with the upper floors, which had Enrico Fermi, uh, Arthur Compton, Robert Mulliken, all Nobel Prize winners. But I used to keep the doors in my laboratory open at night. We worked seven days a week, 18 hours a day. Uh, and uh, I was blowing glass and I had ventilation. And the elevator came down and Eugene Wigner, a Nobel Prize winner, Eugene Wigner looked at me and came in. And he said, I thought you'd like to see this. It was a black envelope, stamped secret, prototype design of a 500,000 thermal kilowatt reactor. Six weeks earlier, at Stag Field, the United States triggered the chain reaction which generated half a watt of power. Half a watt. And they were proposing to go a billion times more in power. 